Okay, so the reason I'm making this basically is because I kept asking Logan to make a tutorial on how he makes his Minecraft parodies, but he kept saying no. So, uh, yeah, I am doing it myself now. Okay, so step one is you need to find the episode you want to make a parody of. Now, I usually, and Lo Logan and me usually use episodes from season one or season two, uh, so that's usually what I make parodies of. So you need to like find a playlist with all of those videos in it, like this one right here, and you just need to scroll through until you find something good. So, uh, and I usually don't do episodes of Pokio that Logan already parodied. I don't do that. So, which makes it hard because he's parodied a lot of episodes. So it's gonna. So you might have to like look through extra hard to find what exactly what you want. So now that you have the episode that you want to parody. Now you'll need the programs in order to parody it. Now all the programs that I use are on screen right now. So I'll leave a link to all of them in the description. Now when you open Minimator, you will see this screen. Now uh, you have all this stuff here, but you want to only focus on new project. Create a new project. Okay, now name your project uh, whatever you want and you can put the location to wherever. You know, author and description, you don't need to write the author and description, you can just write the name. Just create. Okay, now Logan like makes certain characters into other characters. Now all the character replacements are on screen right now. Okay, so here's how you uh, add things into scenes in Minimator. So you're gonna wanna go up to this crafting table here and when you open it, you're going to see all of these buttons here. Now I'm going to show what you what all of these do. So, so this window creates like any type of entity in the game. It's re it's probably the most useful thing in the entire thing. This takes parts from certain Minecraft worlds and puts them into here. So let me give you an example. If you click Import from World here, it's going to load. It'll show you this, and you can just choose what world you want, and then you can like choose the like parts of the world you want and it'll like 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 you can select like here I think you get what I mean and this is for adding like items into the scene I don't know why but Logan's Woods doesn't do this much I don't do it much either so that this is what that does now blocks here we go so blocks add a block into the scene and then you'll see this. This is for special blocks, which are blocks that have multiple parts on them so that you can like control individually. Like watch this. Instead of just rotating the whole thing, I can rotate this and this and this individually. And it's really cool. And here you add like multiple body parts, which are just parts of entities. This is the particle spot creator. Now, when you add this, it'll show you as like a square here, like a box. And you can move this around and it will move the particles and stuff. Logan uses this a lot. So, light adds a light. Yeah, lights aren't very common in my videos. Another type of light, which is like a spotlight, also not very common in my videos. Text, which Logan doesn't use much, but I, but he, he uses it sometimes. You can just add like text into here and uh, it'll always be the same font. This is for some reason the only font that you get to use. Yeah, I don't know why it is that way. So then you have a bunch of shapes you can add, like you've got a cube, you got a sphere, I don't know why you would want a sphere, but a sphere in a Minecraft animation, Logan uses that a lot, a cone, also I don't know why you'd want that in a Minecraft animation, but okay, and cylinder and plane. So a camera. I'm going to show you how to use cameras. So when you add a camera, it'll always spawn in the same place that you're looking at, like this. 
And down here in this window, this is where you can see out of what's coming out of your camera. And you can move this around, or you can actually like like use WASD turning it around here inside the window. That's something pretty cool you can do. Uh, <laughs> so now to cut cameras, like to like split switch between scenes, this is what I do. I go down to here to keyframe and I click visible and I uncheck this. Now it's gone and we'll, it's, we're ready to add another one. Now what I do here is I add a keyframe here and then I go back and then I turn this off and now look it switches. This switch is used for turning on high quality graphics. Okay now that you've set up your scene uh, just exactly like the episode, I'm going to tell you how to do animation. Now, the, what you'll probably do first is like just move parts around like this, and this, like this. Yeah, that's probably what you'll do first, but you're doing it all wrong. Because when you do this, you're just doing, it's moving like a robot. It's just like going eh, eh, eh. It's got like going like eh. Let me show you what I mean. So here under where it says transition, instead of choosing linear, choose ease in and ease out cubic or ease in and ease out quadratic. Because when you do this, instead of just going just going like a, eh, it goes like it goes like this. Just watch. See, it's a lot smoother. So this is what I usually do when doing this. So let me, let's talk all about the controls real quick. So. This is for the rotation, and this is for the position. If you don't see something showing like like arrows like this, then it's because the drop down hasn't dropped down yet. So see if it, if we drop it down, it, we can see it now. And this is the scale, which doesn't appear in here for some reason. But basically, what the scale does is uh, now that you've learned the controls and you've set up your scene, now we need to add the voice one that you created. So to do this, to do this, go to here and click create a track for sound files. When you do that, select the track and click add sound. Now find the place where you where you put this. I put it in this folder here. Import it and you're going to want to record your voice by clicking this button here. See that? Now that now it's in the program. Usually when I make Pokemon Minecraft parodies, I, I, I do like a fake British accent, like that, so uh, that's what I suggest you do too, just in case you, you want to do this. Okay, so now that you've got your voice one, you're going to want to record your voice by clicking this button here. Animate your character exactly like how it is in the video. It doesn't, of course, it, not exactly, but close, close, close. Logan is never exact with anything he does. So that's why you shouldn't be exact either. And here's actually a pretty useful tip. If a character is like running or something, um, instead of animating it manually, you can actually just do this. Click on a keyframe twice until it turns white. Go down here and click create a walking animation to the next keyframe. When you do that, a bunch of keyframes will appear. And You're going to want to record. See that? It walks like a real person now. Uh, however, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Right? Because, uh, remember, Logan's vids is never exact. Not even to the original Minecraft game. And now that you're done with your beautiful masterpiece, go up here to... Obvious... Now, obviously, you're going to do much more than this. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. I'm not going to make an entire Pokeo parody. So, now that you know all this and you've done all this, go up here to export the animation to a movie file. And when you do that, you'll have all these controls here. I used to do 720p. Now, I usually, uh, usually do 1920 by 1080 Format MP4. Video quality, I like to set it to high. And frame rate, I always set it to 30. Now if you go to save, and you have to select your location, and it will tell you how long it will be until it's done exporting. So there you go. That's a tutorial on how to make Pokemon Minecraft parodies just like me and Logan.